Read right now. Busy Spring, Nature Wakes Up by Sean Tyler and Alex Moores. Illustrated by Sin Yi Chu. In the wintertime, the garden felt quiet and gray, and it looked like it was sleeping. Then, one morning, Dad was wearing his sweater with a hole in it. That meant it was a good day for going outside to do gardening. And it was. I went. So did my little sister Jasmine. The yard was bright, and birds were singing, hopping, and pecking. A big bee flew by in a hurry. <sighs> Everything smelled like wet earth and sunshine. It's warm, said Jasmine. Dad nodded. It's spring. Dad told us he had some digging to do, and we could carry things to the compost heap, then help plant carrots. He said, Let's see where I left the fork. Let's see, said Jasmine. She splashed through a puddle. Birds flew up and continued chattering in the trees. The birds are all busy, I said. Dad told us, Everything's busy. The plants are busy. The animals are busy. Spring's a busy time. Jasmine shouted, Busy spring! Dad brushed his hand through flowers as tall as Jasmine. Bees and bugs and flies zoomed out. He told us, The spring sunlight is nature's alarm clock. Life's waking up. Plants are racing to get more light. Some grow high, and then the wind scatters pollen from their flowers. Some paint themselves brilliant colors to attract insects. Jasmine put her face in some flowers. They made her sneeze. Ah, ah, choo! <laughs> You're not a bumblebee, I told her laughing. But she ran around going, Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. Jasmine buzzed around the pond. There are tadpoles, she shouted. Dad said, Did you know tadpoles turn into butterflies? I told him, They turn into frogs. <laughs> oh, yes, laughed Dad. That's right. Frogs make too many babies to count. The fastest and luckiest tadpoles grow big and strong. And when they become frogs, you'll hear them croaking spring songs. Can you jump like a frog? I asked Jasmine. No, she said, but I can fly like a flutterby. Jasmine fluttered away and fluttered back. Birds swooped like they were playing, too. One stopped on a branch. I said, she's eating a twig. She's not eating it, said Dad. There are lots of tasty caterpillars around for her to eat. She's collecting twigs to make a nest. And soon there'll be newborn chicks up there. Cheepy, cheepy, sang Jasmine. Cheep, cheep, cheep. It didn't sound quite like the birds, but it sounded happy like them. We still hadn't found Dad's fork. It wasn't by the shed, but the hole where the fox lives was, and Jasmine peeped down. Is the fox inside? I asked. Dad nodded. Yes, and she'll have fox cubs by now. Little fox cubs, Jasmine called. Come and play! They just want to be with their mom for now, whispered Dad. But they'll soon be playing games in the spring sunshine. What games? I asked. Rolling and bouncing, said Dad. And chasing 
and pouncing. Then he chased us like we were foxes. I ran behind the compost heap. Dad, I shouted, here's your fork. Dad came to get it. Who lives in there? Jasmine asked. Dad rolled back a log with the fork. Insects, he said. There were rushing ants and wood lice. There were worms and a shiny beetle. Those are nature's recyclers, Dad told us. They're working hard, eating up all the dead things. I spotted a caterpillar next to the compost heap. Look, I pointed. <laughs> Springs all around us, smiled Dad. Everything's growing, feeding, and making new life. That caterpillar was an egg a few days ago. Now she's eating and eating. Next, she'll wrap herself up in a chrysalis. Then she'll change into a butterfly and find a mate. Yes, I said. Tadpoles become frogs and caterpillars become butterflies. Dad looked at Jasmine and asked, Can you become a butterfly again? No, she said, but I can become a frog. And off she hopped. Hmm, it might rain in a bit, called Dad. And we came out to do something else, didn't we? Digging, I said, and planting carrots, Jasmine told him. That's right, said Dad. Come on. So we did. Birds sang along, petals came dancing down, and we got busy. What is spring? Spring sunshine is nature's alarm clock, telling wildlife to wake up after winter. You can see, hear, and smell the signs of new life as the season arrives with a rush of energy. Darkness is chased away earlier each morning. Crisp, cold air becomes milder. Warm winds blow in. Ice melts. Rivers swell. Stormy showers and morning dew bring fresh water. These seasonal changes beckon animals and plants to leave winter behind and get busy. The sun and the way Earth circles it gives us the seasons. For half of the year, the south of our planet tilts toward the sun. For the other half of the year, the north of our planet tilts closer. Where Earth leans closer to the sun, the days grow longer and warmer. This brings the brighter and sometimes wetter days of spring. Plants. Spring increases the hours of daylight. The sun warms the soil and water. This tells plants it's time to grow and new life shoots up all around. Roots and shoots. After resting in the chilly ground all winter, plants and seeds soak up water. They swell, sprout, send down new roots, and push up green shoots. Then, when plants reach sunshine, they use light, air, and water to make food inside their leaves. This is called photosynthesis. Forest flowers. On the woodland floor, spring flowers have been lying still for most of the year. Now they pop up and carpet the forest with color. It's a race to catch sunlight while the trees are still bare. They blossom and make seeds in just a few short weeks, then disappear for another year. Treetops. Up in the trees, buds have been resting. But now, sap rises inside the tree trunks, telling buds to burst open into leaves and flowers. Pussy willow, larch, sloe, plum, apple, and cherry are among the early spring trees to flower. Forest giants, such as oaks, are also waking up. 
Oak and birch trees grow long catkin flowers. Their pollen is carried by the wind. Soon the tree canopy will grow its full coat of leaves and cast the woodland floor into shade. Animals. In spring, there's plenty of food and warmth, so animals make the most of it. Many come out from safe, hidden hibernation dens. Others are migrating great distances. It's time to make or improve homes, find a mate, have babies, and raise them. And it's time to grow. Waking up. On mild spring evenings, bats wake from hibernation inside caves, trees, or buildings. They've lost weight during the winter and must now hunt for food. Female bats wake up pregnant, so they need to find a new roost where they can give birth to a pup. Badgers give their winter sets a spring clean for new families. Dressed and ready. As snow melts, some mammals shed their thick, light-colored winter coats, leaving them with thinner, darker spring fur. This offers mountain hares camouflage as they raise their young. The longer days trigger male deer to start quickly growing new, velvety antlers. Singing and dancing. The joyful dawn chorus of singing birds helps them find a mate. Some birds display beautiful colored feathers, too. The male grouse joins amazing group displays, dancing, strutting, and puffing up his feathers and chest. Water babies. Some ocean animals migrate thousands of miles during the spring. Giant whales journey between feeding and breeding areas, swimming near kelp forests to protect their calves and tiny eels cross oceans to reach their adult homes. On the way, they transform several times, from glass eels into elvers, then yellow eels, finally becoming adult silver eels. Amphibians leap back into ponds. Frogs and toads lay hundreds of eggs in jelly. As their young grow, they will change form several times. This is called metamorphosis. Adult male great-crested newts grow spectacular mating crests to impress females. Growing together. Plants and animals need each other during spring to grow and develop. Pollinating. Spring is the perfect time for many plants to blossom and attract pollinators. The beautiful colors, shapes, and perfumes of flowers invite animals searching for tasty nectar and pollen. Visiting insects and other creatures then carry pollen from flower to flower, so the plants help animals feed themselves and their young, and pollinating animals help plants make seeds. Queen bees wake from their winter burrows and get busy buzzing around and searching for sweet nectar and pollen. They build a nest for their young and fill it with this food for when the larvae hatch. Some birds are pollinators too. The eastern columbine's red flowers attract hummingbirds, and the plant times its flowers for when the birds migrate north. Seed Carrying Soon, animals will be helping more plants to grow. When they eat fruits and nuts, they carry seeds to new places. These will come out in their poop, which is great compost for plants to grow in. Recycling. Nature's recyclers, including worms, millipedes, wood lice, beetles, slugs, and snails, break down dead things into tiny particles. This helps make the soil that plants need to grow. Feasting and traveling. Millions of insects and other creatures have their young in spring because there are so many fresh and nutritious plants to eat. From under our feet to the tops of the trees, animals are having a feast.
Some animals travel huge distances to find the best spring food. Monarch butterflies fly thousands of miles from their winter resting places to reach milkweed plants to lay their eggs on. Dormice don't eat during their long winter sleep, but when they wake up in spring, one of their favorite foods is honeysuckle, nectar, and pollen. How you can help. Because of climate change, spring's arrival is shifting. Buds are bursting open earlier, and bees are buzzing around sooner. The changes can be harmful for plants and animals. It's important for them to wake up and grow at the best time. You can help by learning about climate change and how it affects wildlife, then acting on what you find out. Put up bat boxes and birdhouses. Provide insect hotels and bird feeders. Make a wildlife pond. Provide a feast for wildlife by planting flowers and trees. And help scientists protect nature by recording and sharing the signs of spring. If you liked this video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. See you next time on Read Right Now.